Hi this is NRL News Recap. Papua New Guinea Cumuls and Warrington Wolves centre Roderick Tai has reportedly attracted interest from an NRL club following the conclusion of the Pacific Bowl tournament. Earlier this year, the 24-year-old earned his first professional rugby league contract for Sam Burgess Warrington for the 2024 season after a two-season stint with the PNG Hunters in the QLD Cup. The centre appeared in 34 games for the Hunters and scored 14 tries. He has also represented the Papua New Guinea national team on six occasions since his debut in the Rugby League World Cup at the end of last season. Currently on a contract with Warrington for next season, NRL.com has reported that Ty has generated interest from the Dolphins. Ty has a close relationship with the team having represented the club during the preseason trial at the beginning of last season. Considering he has only signed a one-year contract with the Super League club, the center could very well move to Queensland and be signed by the Dolphins for the 2025 season. I'm very excited. It's a huge move for me to be joining a great club in Warrington, Ty said when he joined the Warrington Wolves. Sam Burgess called me and said there's an opportunity. Even him calling was huge for me. I'm looking forward now to giving my all in preseason, working hard and playing my part next year. During the World Cup with PNG we stayed in Warrington so there'll be some familiarities there for me. It was a great experience for us Cumuls and myself and my family can't wait to come back over to the town. The Dolphins have made several acquisitions in the back line for next season with the signings of Jake Avarillo, Canterbury Bulldogs, and Herbie Farnworth, Brisbane Broncos. However, Edric Lee, Ewan Aitken, Anthony Milford, Cody Nicarema, Tessie Neo, and Valence Tewer are all off contract next season and could find themselves out of the club the